As we approach Memorial Day, one mother in Chesterfield is remembering a fallen soldier. In this best of Heroes Among Us, Greg McQuaid, a photographer, Brad Wilson, show us how loved ones are honoring the memory of a beloved son nine years after his death on a battlefield. It's one of Sonia Stokely's most troubling fears. And you see he smiled all the time. That her beloved son, Kyle, uh, will be forgotten. He was a true light. The mother from Brandermill feels his loss. Very close. Each day. Mm -hmm. We were very close. But a looming anniversary cuts a little deeper. I can go through here. If I feel depressed or anything, you know, I just read some and then I get more depressed. <laughs> when he was young, the boy with a penchant for writing love songs. Yeah, it's nice. To the most important woman in his life. <laughs> vowed to join the military. Army. Mm -hmm. Kyle kept his promise. He knew what he wanted. In 2010, he accelerated his studies at Cosby High School. He said, Mom, I'm graduating early. I'm graduating this summer. Moving from student to soldier. In September, he left. The Chesterfield native was sent to Afghanistan, where specialist Stokely thrived. See, the thing is, I was never scared that he wouldn't come back. I wasn't scared. Near the end of his tour, Kyle called his mother. And he said, my bags are packed and they're going out tomorrow. But just days later. June 1st, 2013. The strapping soldier would die when his patrol was attacked. He fell or he stood on an explosive and they killed him right away. Back in Virginia, there was a knock at the door. When I saw the two military guys there, I, I knew. This was not the homecoming Kyle's family anticipated. Here they're about to unload him. In the five years since her only son's death. I'm a nature girl, I always liked nature things. Sonia has maintained Kyle's memorial garden right outside her front door. He probably will bring me a stone or a pebble every day. <laughs> Kyle left his mark. See how deep his handprint is? In 2015, yeah. just a short drive from his yeah. garden, the county would name a bridge spanning Swift Creek Reservoir in his honor. A bridge many teens used to reach Cosby. At his alma mater, Kyle's gregarious nature still resonates. This is Kyle standing on the chair with everybody around him, hugging him. English teacher Richard Daly says Kyle's death rocked these hallways. I think there's a lot of things the students can learn about just character-wise, just by hearing the stories of what Kyle was like. Kyle's legacy will be a teachable moment. Each and every one of these items has a special significance. This new permanent display case is dedicated to the former Titan, complete with Kyle's uniform, purple heart and dog tags. I have a hard time talking about him in the past because I do feel like he's still here. Yeah. Our teacher Susan Lamson says Kyle inspired staff and students. He was just a go-getter. Anything he wanted in life, he put everything he had into it. Miss Lamson says these artifacts on permanent loan will keep Kyle's memory fresh. It's important that we remember Kyle because he hasn't been gone that long, but he's always going to remain. Reassuring words for this mother who carries a heavy heart. Sure. Yes, sure. Of course. Comfort knowing her son's memory is in safe hands. He was truly an amazing young man. From very, I mean, from the minute he was born. Now this grieving mom can only ponder the what ifs. We often think, oh, what would he do now? You know, would he be married? Would he have children? He would have been a great father. Really. <laughs>